Alright, beautiful day outside. I think I'm gonna go fly a drone. Gents, I come today with a proposition. As your leader, I declare we need a chant. <laughs> I am your leader, right? I was going to say martial law. Yeah. I declare martial law. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm not marrying you. <laughs> well, then I don't accept. <laughs> yeah, fine. All right, fine, we'll get married. Oh. God, anything for a chant. <laughs> 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 if our chant ends up to the tune of da, 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 da. <laughs> I found a coin. Yeah, it was it. It rung up 96. I need a stronger coffee. <laughs> Speaking of coffee, I shall be right back. A cup of your finest coffee, please. What size? Small. Small. With one sugar. Sure. Thank you very much. Anything else? Uh, nope, that's all. Uh, do you already have the rewards card with you? No, I don't. Would you like to have one? It's for free. What is the nicest way to say no thank you? <laughs> one I serve is our finest coffee with one sugar. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much. That's what I have you too. Uh, which is kind of disappointing but still it's a beautiful piece of jewelry I think that's where the laser used to be attached the first coin of the day seventy eight that is so awesome alright next find that's that's how it came out of the ground. <laughs> okay, that's pretty darn cool. I wonder if it still works. Or maybe it's some sort of a communication device. Walt, come in. Yes? Walt, I've found the communication device. Bring it over here. Oh, where are you? On um, the core. I don't think you are, because I'm looking at you and you're in the field. That's because I'm in the field. Oh, all right, well, I'll head over. That's the 1950, 1952. Oh yeah, that'll clean up nice. Mm -hmm. Back isn't as as clean. Stick, but, eh? Uh, 
Yeah, I would say it's thicker than uh, like a 78. This is a 78 Fendi. I found a 79. This is a surface find. I think it's just costume jewelry, but it's still ridiculously cool. Here you go. There it is. It's exactly the way it looked. I'm gonna... I don't think it's even silver or anything. Still, I found jewelry. I have way too much garbage weighing me down. I gotta get rid of some of this stuff. Like, For those of you who think we're uh, annoying in the parks, the suckier we are in metal detecting, the more we clean up. That's like a celebratory moment right there. Yeah, just after I said this thing is no good for finding silver. Yeah. What'd you got? 1957 silver nine. Atta boy. Can you flip the other side? That's awesome. That is really awesome. Can you put it into my pocket? Right. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Bye. It says grip, oh. grip yeah. more. Do you think uh, it grips more? Uh, well, look at the back. Is it grippy? Look at those teeth on the back there. I would say that grips more than one without teeth. Look at that. Save that guy. Patented March 1907. Oh, right oh, on the edge. Cool. Let's see. 1907. Do you think that might be silver? No. Can I say no. That? Definitely. Well, how not. come there's like not tarnishing at all though? Uh, because it's plated with something. All right, here we go. Bigger coin, finally. Oops. I don't think it's gonna be old. Nineteen seventy-seven. Oh. <laughs> not That's bad. Lovely. Okay, so Walt and uh, Walt and John's detectors picked this up at a possible gold signal. Mine says, mine says junk. <laughs> 78 is what mine reads. And mine rang it up as a 16 with kind of a halo around it, so we'll see, I guess. What does that mean, a halo around uh, it? I'm sorry to explain it. It doesn't have like a solid, like beep beep tone, so it has a... a uh, a beep, but it kind of has like a yeah, tree root in there. <clears throat> now I got nothing, so it's probably something junky right in my plug here. like it to be something not junky. Small, whatever it is. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what in the world? Your ring backy? <laughs> Oh. oh yeah, now you lose it again. <laughs> yeah, it's got it's like a little pin or like a a push pin. <laughs> okay, John's got a a good signal. It's ringing up 92 on mine. On Walt's it's a 26. What's your metal detector again? Walt? Uh, the Mine Lab Equinox. Mine Lab and then on the Garrett, what does it ring up on the Garrett? John. 83. 83. Are you going to dig it up or what? This is supposed to be a 10 minute show. <laughs> it's 
gonna say Bolin Bottling Company. <laughs> That's a mean thing to say. <laughs> that's, what, that's what I just found. <laughs> it's still frozen, ah, eh? What do you got? What do you got? Oh, yay! What year? There's more, there's more in that hole. Yeah. <laughs> I, I was getting two signals, I think. He's not swearing, it was just this thing. <laughs> Looks like 1970. 1987. Oh, Apparently we found a penny field here. <laughs> or maybe silver. Dun dun dun. Oh, there's a root in there. There's the penny. Just for the record, we all guessed it was going to be a penny. What 1983. year? 1983. 1983. Hey, what year's yours? 83. 71. Oh. <laughs> Somewhere over here. I don't almost see it's something. It rings up at 86 on mine, which is bottle cap. Walt says it's definitely not a bottle cap. He's willing to bet me a dollar. And uh, Johnny, I don't think he's willing to bet on it, but he's saying uh, I should go somewhere else and let him dig it. <laughs> um, it's deep, so I'll get back to you in a minute to see if I uh, lose a dollar or win a dollar. If you're gambling at home... <laughs> <laughs> well, whatever. Just wait till you see. All right, I've got it in the clump here. And just breaking apart the clump. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> that is the coolest looking bottle cap. Is it a bottle cap? It's it's the top to a cork for a booze bottle. Uh, it's kind of neat at least. I've never seen one like this, this before. Look at this the color on this button. Whoa! Oh wow, that is beautiful, Walt. You just pulled that out right now? Yeah. But I think it was brass and that's just the... Man, I think that's going to be my cover photo. Look at that, it's beautiful. John just pulled this out of the ground. That is pretty cool. You know, it almost seems, looks like the bottom of a lighter that pushes the flint up, but... Well, but it would have to be a huge flint. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's too big for that, but it almost looks like the uh, shutoff valve for one of the old, um, you know, the lighters. Yeah. The, the lamps, Coleman lamps. Yeah. Okay, that is one of the most unique things you'll ever find metal detecting. It looks like a robot from, like, Star Wars or something. It's got wheels here and here and, like, a grappling claw. And it looks like it, like, folds away. All right, it's either a gold ring or a gold loony. I think it's a gold loony, boys and girls. There you go. I like finding dollars. So that uh, that loony rung up as a 96 in the clump. It looks like 1990. This is what I need. 1980. Looks like Walt's found something special. It's a baby silver ring. Oh, yeah, man. <laughs> As the look of silver. Oh, yeah, that's silver. It's got to be. Oh, so thin, it almost looks like one of those toe rings. 
That looks handmade. That looks really nice. Dude, cool. Good job, bud. Thanks, buddy. Nicely done. <laughs> Another loony, ladies and gentlemen. That's pretty sweet. Ninety-five. Okay, this is really strange because my pin pointer can barely pick this up. I think my settings might be off. But here is the, the reason why I'm recording. It's just a penny, but it's so red. I'm gonna guess it's old because of the patina. And it's a 1962. Very nice. 1962. And so it begins. The three mighty searchers and adventurers have come to conclude. Conclude. Oh boy. So now it has become. De no. As the said. <laughs> early enough, the end is nigh upon us. The and. Is dead. The merchants of coin finding have concluded their journey for this Saturday. And as they part, they share their plunder with each other, each pirate to their own. Let's see what they have for us. First, Walt the Degenstein. My oldest penny in 1952. 1952. And the rest just 70s. Is that the oldest 90s. of the day? Is that I think the oldest penny, yeah, for sure. And, and then I got a little ring. silver ring. Can you turn it around? Did you clean it up? Did no. you Did you want me to help you clean, clean that up? Because I got the perfect tool <laughs> for that. Right here. <laughs> All right. You press. You gotta press it only once. Oh, that's why I was holding onto it. <laughs> Oh, look how well it works. <laughs> that is beautiful. That looks nice like hand work. Design. I like that. It's an 8 knot, right? Uh, sure. Oh, man, and I love that. That button with the nice patina on it. Yeah, let's get another view of that one. I'm a big fan of that one. That's going to be interesting to see that one cleaned up. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to do much cleaning. If, no, I, if I'm just going to put a... No, I just put some of that uh, that Renaissance wax on. No, I'm, I'm willing to say that this is probably just like a round brass or copper. Absolutely, and then that's the the what do they call it vertigris oh just beautiful love cool. that of course we'll save the greatest for the middle <laughs> hashtag metal detecting <laughs> <laughs> hashtag Fillershave. Uh, hashtag Fillershave. this episode of metal detective has been brought to you by Fillershave. <laughs> This is my beautiful uh, yeah. button. If you can't find gold, at least you can look good. <laughs> With a, uh, at least <laughs> my slogan, you can look good doing it. At least my my button has a back. That's very true. Right, and it will never tarnish. It will look like garbage for years. <laughs> <laughs> this is my. Uh, I found out these were actually real diamonds. Nice. Not really. No. <laughs> But what if they're like cubic zirconia? It's still oh, very, very rare. <laughs> cubic zirconia. Can you spell sure it? looks good. I can't spell. Just leave it at that. There's my coins. And there's my oldest coin for the day, 1962. Very, very red. It's so red. Let's just quickly skim over. <laughs> yeah, and he found some stuff too. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Look at this. Money bags. Paid for his coffee and more today. Did you need help cleaning this one? Because uh, I definitely have the <laughs> right... Uh... <laughs> I wasn't watching I wasn't watching Walt. How do you use this? Hey, there's a button. And just push it once. Yeah. 
<laughs> I can't follow you. Like <laughs> Thanks for tuning in to Metal Detective. I just want to let you all know that I really enjoy reading your comments. The more, the merrier. Um, also, we're doing a really big push to get to a thousand subscribers. We, uh, we all put in a, a lot of work uh, editing and posting these videos. It's a team effort, and we're hoping to do even more. Perhaps if it's a success, we might look at exploring other countries. Um, this week, also, I am announcing the first of many prizes. This one is going to be for, uh, for entering artwork into our channel. And we have, we have an art piece by Hayden, Hayden Dirksen. Love to see a picture with your Lego set if you can submit it.